If you're shooting on a Blackmagic camera that has B-Raw, you have two options to choose from, constant bitrate and constant quality. Which one is the right one for you to choose? So I took the camera out on a gimbal because a lot of footage that I've seen on YouTube is static images, but I wanted to see it in motion. What happens when I'm moving the camera? Constant bitrate is going to always shoot at the level of compression that you tell it to. Right now I'm using 12 to one. It's a static shot. The lights aren't changing, the elements aren't moving. Now for us old school folks who used to do video encoding, it was called variable bitrate. So it's now called constant quality, but it's the same concept. So if I were to pick constant quality, it might choose 12 to one for this. If I were to grab the camera and point it outside where the sunlight's shining, maybe it would go to three to one. So there's a little bit of uncertainty with constant quality because it's going to adjust based on the elements you're shooting in. So we're going from midtones to highlights to shadows. So three to one looks good. Five to one looks good. This is not graded footage. I set the uh, color scope to DaVinci wide gamut. Now let's take a look at constant quality. Look at the same footage graded. Now, normally I wouldn't leave the green saturated this much, but I wanted to see, you know, how far I could push this without becoming too extreme. You know, on the three to one, I'm noticing on the right hand side of the water, you're getting some information in the ripples. Um, the color grade really helps the purple flowers pop out, but that's beside the point. So let's jump right to the 12 to one comparison on this. There's very little information that we're losing. I wouldn't, you know, it's not a lot. So here we are walking, here's the 12 to one constant bit rate. Here's the Q zero constant quality. Let's do you know, constant quality Q0 versus constant quality Q5. I'm not seeing a huge difference in either one of them. Now this is ProRes, which, you know, still looks good. And we point at the sky there. That showed up as being blown out in my monitor, but I'm uh, not really looking to recover a lot of information in the sky there. So, so, Let's take a look at the extremes on both with the constant bit rate, three to one. And then the constant bit rate, 12 to one. I mean, I think if you look in the grass, when you, when you bring the tilt up, there's not really a whole lot there to see, but just looks a little blurrier in the 12 to one bit rate. We'll do the same extremes of the constant quality. We're going to do Q zero. Now that looks good. I love the way the ripples in the water uh, where the, where the sun rises reflecting on it. And then Q five. So we're just going to pan over here. I mean, I'm really hard pressed to see the difference between it because I'm not noticing anything glaring to me. I understand YouTube is going to compress this, but as I'm speaking to you, I'm looking at my monitor 
through DaVinci Resolve and I'm not seeing anything that's that extreme. For me, I've never shot in constant quality, but that's just because for my applications, I'm shooting interviews, so I always use constant bitrate. Those interviews are inside 90% of the time. I have lights, I have flags, I'm making sure that at an f-stop of 5.6, I have a good image. So I'll use eight to one or five to one compression, constant bitrate, and it's fine, I'm not really looking to push a lot of information. I'm just looking to get some good contrast and good color saturation. If I were going to do something on a green screen, if I were going to do something with any type of compositing or special effects, I would certainly use the three to one uh, constant bit rate. Once again, I'm filming at the 12 to one, this, looks, this is fine. Take this information as you need it based on the application that you're going to be in. The constant quality will certainly help if you're moving from one extreme element to the other. What's important is to be aware of how much card space it eats up because if you are out in the field, those things matter. You want to get a good image. You don't want to run out of card space. So the best thing to do is take that camera out, shoot at the different bit rates, shoot at the different constant qualities, take the footage home, take a look at it, and see for yourself if you notice a difference. And that's where it should matter. So let me know what you think. Are you shooting in B-Raw? And if you do, are you using constant bit rate or are you using constant quality? And then which subsetting of those are you using? Leave us a comment. I'd love to hear from you and share your experiences with us. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and uh, leave us a comment. Thanks again. Take care.